Hey guys, welcome back to the Thai movie. Um, today we're gonna tie the um, Vimu. Uh, it's a pattern that I've been fishing with a lot this summer, and my friends has also been fishing a lot with it, and we, uh, it was a great success. Um, it's uh, also uh, it's a Senre variation with some uh, colors on the tube and uh, some different uh, different flash in the wing and. Uh, yeah, you, in the original you can they use monkey, but they're gonna use, I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use the, the goat today uh, and some fox. So we're gonna mix it up, but yeah, to the to the fly. Um, I fish it. I always start by fishing it like a sunray, like I swing it. I toss 90 degrees through the stream, 45 degrees, test everything, and a little thing that I. Uh, um, discovered this summer was that uh, um, if you speed up this fly they go crazy about it and uh, especially the <laughs> the small ones was insanely crazy about this fly uh, I, so I put uh, I put um, uh, the rod between my legs and start pulling with both of my hands and shit, I, that was really effective uh, I tried other like normal sun rays etc but they were really aggressive on this fly and uh, it's a clear water fly um, actually I have a friend that uh, tried it up in uh, Orkla and it didn't work that good uh, and that's a humus river uh, and I had some friends using it up in the north in the clearer rivers and it was a great success so uh, yeah I think it's a good all round fly anyways because uh, yeah you just have to test it and fish it the right way and uh, yeah that's how it is. So, um, what we're gonna use today is a clear 3mm tube, just like I do in the Sunray video. Um, you can tie this in all different sizes that you want. Um, this is the size I usually use. About 10 centimeter wing, uh, maybe 8 sometimes, depending on the water level, etc. So, um, the body, mat body material over the tube will be this green uh, it's a um, Ultra Tread 70 from uh, UTC fluorescent green. I put uh, I put the materials in the description under so you can see it. Um, for the underwing, I'm going to use this really good quality goat from Good Temple Fish, and we're going to use the Supreme uh, goat from Sasha. Um, so this is the Kashmir goat. Uh, it's originally tied by a monkey, uh, with monkey. I also done that, and it's, uh, it's I, can, I can recommend that, but uh, if you don't get a catch of monkey, you can use goat, or you can even use probably temple dog, etc. But you want to have a slim profile here. That's the whole point of the fly. Uh, fast, slim, really uh, nice color, and it give, gives the salmon uh, good attention. So. I think that's the point of the fly. Um, jungle cock on the sides. And we're gonna use some black time thread. So, uh, yeah. And we're gonna do some di different glowing under, like uh, with the um, super glue uh, under the um, tying session. I'm gonna explain that, but uh, I'm not going to do as I normally do because that takes too much time for the, for the film. Um, so, yeah, just let's get into it and keep going. Okay guys, so let's start with the, tr I start like 5 millimeters from the start point of the tube. I'm just tie myself backwards a bit. Cut off the trend. This takes a bit of time, so I just want to do the first layer. Like that. Now, some super glue. Like that, and start tying over it. I actually do one more wrap uh, with super glue after I'm done with the top here, but we're not going to do that today because that then I, I do like four or five flies at a time, uh, and then uh, so I let one dry and I do another one, and yeah, so. 
keep that uh, in mind that you want to have another layer of super glue over this. You do this, you tie this in like um, you want to fill the whole tube, you don't want to have any holes, etc. Make a good layer. Okay? Like that. Now take the black thread. Like that. Now I'm using the fox. That's the first underwing. This is just to stiff up the underwing a bit. Take some uh, varnish, that's on it, like that, a couple of wraps over, and then let that dry. Now we're going to take the goat. Cut off a piece that's that you think is good enough. <laughs> what I do, I measure it as I did on the summary video, like this. Okay, that's the length I want, and then I cut it there. And as I showed you guys earlier, if you if you wet the, the fibers on the goat like this. It's way more easy to tie in a spit on it or have a glass of water or whatever and just place it on top here. So now it's kind of wet at the tying point. Like that. And if you want to have it completely on top before you tighten this now. Okay. Now it's completely at the top. Take some super glue on your thread. Like that, and then push here so you have it on the top, and then you tighten it in with the super glue. Like that. I forgot to show you this, but uh, this is some uh, UV, I think it's Mirage or Pearl, Pearl I think it is, uh, flash that I'm using. Um, two straws of that, lay that in, like almost the length of the wing, you can have them a bit longer if you want, like that. Add some glue on the top just to make them tight. Wrap a bit around. 
cards. Then we're gonna do the jungle hook. Here you don't have to have the biggest fibers, just do some long, nice, small ones. Don't waste the big ones. Same as usual. I bend them like this. Fastening that in, in with all the f uh, soft fibers, etc. is now inside. Also the glue from where I, when I tied in the uh, the, the flash that helps me connect the jungle hooks now. Okay, <laughs> like that. Here, if you want to be really, if you want to do this really nice, you can just use a scalpel and cut this off so you don't have all the stuff hanging out there. But I don't care about that now. Okay. Um, now we're gonna try take some super glue again. Put on your thread. Tie everything in. Secure jungle cook. Just lock it up. <laughs> Some warnish head cement. Like that. Fuck this had so much stinks. Check if they're secure and safe. As you can see the wing is not that it's not that big, like it's uh it's not a fat wing, it's a really skinny skinny profile fly. So it gives you this extremely good color with the green and the black, so yeah, that's the Vima. It's uh, you can find the fly in the Spay Brothers book as well. Um, I can't remember the name of the guy who has it, but uh, yeah, it's a nice fly. It fishes really good, so try to tie one and see what you think. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and stay safe.